What's good, Drink <laughs> And welcome back to the channel. So today we have a very, very exciting video for you. We're going to be recreating that real trendy ass recipe that's been going all around Facebook and social media and everywhere else. The Berea's Tacos. I've never tried it. If y'all have tried it, comment below and tell me. How was your first time? Did you like it? Did you not? I'm a little excited and scared at the same time. If y'all are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that bell down below. If you want more content, hit that like button and all of that. Now, let's get to the video. All right, y'all, so we got some adobo here, some black pepper, some chili powder, some cinnamon sticks, accent, and we got some cayenne pepper. They didn't have no chuck roast, so we got beef brisket. Any beef should do just fine. That's what I read, so we are gonna do beef brisket. Here we got some sweet onion, five cloves of garlic, some chili arbo, two cinnamon sticks, some bay leaves, and some dry ancho chiles. Now, you see the stem here? You're gonna have to cut those tips off. So just use some scissors, not a big deal. Use some scissors, cause they got some seeds in them, girl. You're gonna add that spice to it. See these seeds? So you're gonna dump them in a bowl like this, depending on your taste. I like them spicy, so I'm gonna keep them in. All right, girl, we're gonna season this meat now. We got some adobo, some accent, some paprika, cayenne pepper, chili powder, and some black pepper. Mix it up with your hands. I don't use gloves, I'm sorry y'all, I'm real old fashioned. My grandma taught me we don't use gloves around here, just wash your hands, you good. Get it all mixed up. Make sure to wash your hands after, we don't wanna cross contaminate. All right, y'all, it's time to put it in the pan. Oil that pan up real nice, get it nice and hot. Put all your beef in there. Brown it on each side, I mean every single side. When I say every side, every single side. Turn it up, flip it down, do everything you gotta do with it. I wanna make sure I don't wanna see no red on the outside. None of that. So just keep flipping it. Flip it, flip it, flip it. This is how it should look, I think. We got two cups of broth, beef broth, one cup of chicken stock, and two cups of water. Add your beef in there. Now I know on the recipe it does not call for chicken stock, but I'm different. I wanted it to taste different to my liking, so. Add all of your chilies and your onions, your cinnamon sticks, your bay leaves, your garlic cloves, and I add a little tomato paste. And I add that saison, two packets of it, because I'm in love with that. Add a little bit of allspice. Honestly, I don't even know what that is, but it called in the recipe, so I put it in. Stir it all up, get it all blended together, looking all good like that. Top it off with that cap. This is how it's gonna look after 30 minutes of that chili boiling with that beef. Mm. All right, so we're gonna take all the chilies out now. It has been an hour. You can take them all out like this. This is why I put the onions in whole instead of chopping them all up because it's easier to get them out like that. You're gonna take it all out, cinnamon stick, everything. All your vegetables, everything, chilies, everything gonna come up out of there because we about to toss that thing in the blender. I use the strainer at the end so I can get all the extras at the bottom and some of them extra seeds that was left. All right, toss it in your blender. Add some chipotle peppers. The whole can, y'all, I use the whole can. So <laughs> again, it's up to your taste. Some distilled white vinegar. Some of that broth we just cooked. A half a lime, the whole half. Squeeze the whole thing up in there. Get them juices all up in there. We put some thyme in there. 
And I put some of those um, roasted tomatoes in there. And we blended it all up. Mm, look at that, y'all. We made some sauce. So we're going to put it back into the pot. Put it all back in there. Stir it up. Get it all stirred up. Whip it, whip it, whip it up. I put a little bit more accent in there for my taste. I like it flavored. And throw that top back on up there. All right, y'all. So I like a little pico. I'm going to make some. We got some cilantro, some chopped tomatoes, and some chopped onions. We'll throw them all up in there together, girl. Put a little bit of that lime up there. All right, so we got the pickle de gallo out the pack, y'all. I ain't making the whole thing. So I'm gonna show y'all how I make it. A tablespoon of oil, whatever oil do, and mix that thing up. Whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it, whip it up. This is how it's supposed to look. I probably should have chopped them onions up a little more, but your girl, mm -mm, your girl, uh, I'm a little lazy today. All right, y'all, so this how the meat looking. Y'all see how that thing looking? That thing falling off the bone and ain't no bone in there. Ooh. Y'all know y'all want some. That thing looking like some chopped barbecue. Look like I gotta slap some slaw and some of this stuff on a bun, girl. Give me some hush puppies. Ooh. Nah, y'all, this thing really look good. Ooh, slide out the way. Shot up, y'all. Look, we shot that thing up. All right, so we're going to toss some of these tortillas, they corn tortillas, in the frying pan. I put a little oil in there because I feel like this thing about to get hard and it's about to get all sticky. But y'all bear with me now. Throw some of that meat we just cooked up in there. Some mozzarella cheese. A little bit of that cilantro and fold that thing up. Drop the top on that bitch. Ooh. Don't pay attention to my burnt pan. Throw some of that sauce out there. Get it all nice and saucy. I threw some of that crumbled cheese at the top, a little bit more of that cilantro. Ooh! Finished product. What y'all think? Really? Tell me what y'all think. First time making it. All right, y'all. So it is finally time to try it. I ain't gonna lie, I'm super tired. It took a long ass time to make these. So you really gotta be in your feelings and really feeling like making this in order to wanna make it because your girl is tired. Like damn, it took a really long time. I didn't think it was gonna take that long. So it better be worth it. Sit back chilling. You scared? No, I was ready 10 hours ago. I don't know. I been eyeing this one right here in the middle. And why? I don't know why. I just been eyeing it. Let me. Should we put the bowl in the middle? I guess you can't see the taco. All right, y'all. First try. <laughs> y'all. I really do kind of feel like I've been missing something. They are good. They real good. They spicy, but they good. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. mm. They good, y'all. Mm. 
Mm -hmm. I see the hype. <laughs> Toto, they were saying you gotta dip it in the motor oil. It's, they call this a motor oil. It's a motor oil. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. <laughs> Let me in. Good though. Mm. Let me in on a joke. What you mean? That shit like motor oil. Oh, it looked like motor oil. Mm -hmm. I thought motor oil was black. I don't get it. So you think it too deep. I think I am. Because <laughs> uh, you lost me. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm hmm. Oh my gosh, y'all. It's everything everybody said it was gonna be good. I mean, squeeze the lime. Mm mm. I'm just gonna put lime on everything. Don't make it soggy. Put it on yours. It's just a drop. Put it on yours. Come on. You come on. It's hot. Fresh and me. You can't handle the spice. Mm. Ooh. Ooh. My gosh. What's up? You like it? Yeah. You need to tell them about how you come find those truck roasts. Nowhere. You were just talking shit about me putting a lime on there. Now you got it up. Because I said I didn't want you to put it on everyone. Because it's going to make it soggy. These are already kind of soft. That is good, y'all. Ooh, that lime blue add a little bit more extra to it. Really good. Spicy. It ain't that spicy. They got like the amount of spice that like some hot Cheetos got. That's a lot. It's not. And you like spicy food. Yeah. Try a little cilantro. I probably should have cut these onions <laughs> just a little bit more. Just a little more. Mm-hmm. But that's cilantro good. No, that's not even Pico. <laughs> Why y'all been letting me call it cilantro? It's cilantro in there. The pico de gallo, I mean. It's good. Mm. We got some water. <laughs> you hurting. Hell yeah. It's really good, y'all. It's really good. Just try it at home. If you got the towel. Mm-hmm. About six, seven hours. You'll definitely say the money. The Mexican food is expensive. So, you'll definitely say the money. Just a lot of time. I really did have like a hard time cooking up some twists. It was like a. I had to go through a trial before I got to the final product. But I have to say. These joints are alright. It was worth it. It was definitely worth it. Dress over here hurting, y'all. <laughs> yeah, Dre hurting. You need some water. You want to go get you some drink? Please. Cut handle the spice. The kicker. The bomb. That shit just exploded. I told you that shit was spicy. It's them um, chilies and um, them peppers and stuff we threw up in there. Sure was a lot. Y'all, I did pull quick. I'm about into one more. Just a little more. Y'all like Sh um, Shansia? Mm -hmm. I don't want to lie. I won't feel that song at first. If y'all know what I'm talking about, that song with her and Meg. I was not feeling that song at first, but that is my jam. I walk around the house all day. Just a little more. <laughs> She's so, I don't know. She's cool to me. I like her. I'm in full. Me too. Do the, I think this is like my what? Maybe my third. These just is feeling. They are. Put your back in it. Before we end this video. What'd you think about it? Scared of one to ten? And don't do it just because I'm your girlfriend. 
Give your honest, honest opinion. It's a 10. It's good as hell. It's spicy, but it's still good. Okay, if you was like on the Yelp page, what would you give it? A, a 10. They don't go up to 10. I think it's 1 to 5. So you saying 5? Mm -hmm. Ain't no way. Ain't nothing perfect. That's good. They bomb y'all. They is bomb. I should sell these things. Well, y'all, that is the end of the video. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell, all that, so y'all miss no content whatsoever. <laughs> and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. <laughs>